Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Following Jesus with me, Logan, your host. Today's episode is on Matthew 6 verse 33 and it says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. There will be many verses I will be talking about, but that is one of the main verses that is like the title verse, I would say. Uh, Another couple of verses that I am talking about today is John 14, 13 to 14, and it says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. And John 15, verse 7 to 8, and it says, If you remain in me and my word remains in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. So, I'm going to be explaining what those scriptures mean. So, basically, what those scriptures mean, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. What does that mean? Well, that means in all you do, like seek first God, seek first his kingdom, seek first his righteousness. There's a scripture, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31, and it says, so wherever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And that is basically what we're called to do. We're called to do everything for the glory of God. It doesn't matter if, it doesn't have to be reading a Bible constantly. It doesn't have to be in prayer constantly but whatever we do whatever our life is like so for me I I play soccer and I play soccer for God's glory and sometimes I might do other stuff I might play video games with my friends but ultimately I try glorify God in everything I do so yeah so just like following God's commands just in everyday life I guess because God does want us to have our own life he doesn't I think it would be great if we were constantly in the Word, constantly um, praying, which actually we should be constantly praying, but we can live our life and we can um, glorify God in our whole life. So, yeah, so he wants us to seek first his kingdom, his righteousness and everything. And in John fourteen thirteen to 14, it says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. So basically, today's episode is going to be talking about basically asking God for things or asking God for, it could be yeah, physical things, it could be uh, it could be wisdom, it could be understanding, it could be something like that, and then asking for that. Because in, his, in John 14, 13, 14, it says, basically what it says to me, what I've, what I feel like God has revealed it to me as is, Ask for whatever in in Jesus' name and for the Father's glory and it will be given to you. So, like, just asking God for stuff for his glory, he will give it to you. And I just wanted to explain that a bit. Also, using uh, James 1 verse 5. And James 1 verse 5 basically talks about um, asking God for wisdom and... If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God because he gen- he gives it generously without finding fault. And he he will give it to us, but in a few in when it says without finding fault, I I looked that up in a different version and it said without reproach. And basically it's it's God deciding if if he's going to find fault in you. If, if like he's like deciding, okay, I'll give you wisdom, but is this wisdom going to be for my glory or not? And I think these scriptures align really well. And like, he won't give you wisdom if he finds fault in you. He won't give you wisdom if if you're going to say, okay, oh, look at me, look at me, I'm taking all the glory. And just like these other verses, ask whatever in his name and he will give it to you. But if he finds reproach, if he finds that you are not doing it for his glory, then he won't give it to you. And if he has already given it to you, he will probably take it away because he asks us to glorify him in all we do. So, yeah, I just wanted to explain that because it's so important. Like, God knows our hearts. God knows God knows where we are, what we think, everything we do. So we cannot trick God. So if we are truly wanting to glorify God, then he will give us the stuff we need to do. So... Why I'm doing this podcast, actually, is because God called me to um, write down all my needs and everything I needed 
are to glorify him and for this online ministry that I've started. If you guys didn't know, I recently started this online ministry and made it official that I'm going to do it full time and I guess for the rest of my life if if God wants me to do that because I'm happy doing that and I think it's great. And basically he's been, he made me write a list of things I needed or no, he told me to write a list of things I thought I needed for this podcast, for for TikTok, for YouTube, for this online ministry. And yeah, he told me to do that because it was for his glory ultimately because I wasn't doing it for myself. I was doing it for God. And he wouldn't have told me to do it if he knew that my heart was not for him. But so basically he told me to write down a list and I'll just read off a few things. Um, he basically put on my mind to write down. So the first one I wrote was new phone with great camera plus audio. And let me tell you, at this point when I was writing all this stuff down, I had an iPhone 5 and my dad's laptop. And so I didn't have much. And I wrote down, number one, new phone with, I wrote down, new phone with good camera plus audio. And he actually, God actually corrected me. He was like, no, write down new phone with great camera plus audio. Because I was looking at, at, um, things. Okay, what can I get at a good price? Okay, uh, I'll do this. And God was like, no, I, I legit created the world. I created everything in this world. I created money. I created everything. Like, get good, like, you want to glorify me, you gotta, you gotta have the best quality, you gotta (laughs) strive for, like, good, not just mediocre, so he was like, okay, I'll provide for you, I'll provide these things for you, so that you can do it, and what did God do, he provided me with this iPhone 13, and it was really out of nowhere, I started praying these prayers, I started praying, um, praying, this and I presented all my needs to God and within two weeks of praying God gave me this phone he gave me to be exact so this phone that I'm filming with right now and that you're hearing this podcast on Spotify um it costed $1,350 and I had maybe $20 before I started praying and God gave me two opportunities no maybe three so two opportunities to earn like a thousand dollars out of nowhere and it it was tough work but it was for God's kingdom but it was tough work but it was like something that I I always didn't want to work because it would take up so much time and I want to spend my time with God spend my time worshiping God and making videos for other people to come closer to God so I was like okay I don't want a time-consuming job and God gave me this two maybe four hour job to earn a thousand dollars and you're probably wondering is that legal yes it was completely legal it was totally from god and i can't explain it because um yeah it was just totally not from me it was all god he gave me this opportunity to get this money and it was crazy and at that in that same time period i got paid for soccer and i got paid a good amount of money and i also god also led me to sell this old bike that i had and it all just aligned, and when I told you this phone costed one thousand three hundred fifty dollars, God gave me one thousand three hundred sixty dollars, and He gave me the perfect amount, and He gave me <laughs> He gave me the amount to get some Guzman Y Gomez, this Mexican food, at the same time. So God loves, no, God knows I love that Mexican food. It's probably my favorite restaurant uh, or fast food chain, whatever you would call it. And he provided for all my needs. He didn't just provide for this phone, but he provided for food as well. And I was like, oh my gosh, God is such a blessing. But God only gave me that because he knew my heart, where my heart was. He knew that my heart was for him, knew that my heart was for his kingdom and for his righteousness. Like in Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I I wasn't seeking first my kingdom. I wasn't seeking first to brag about this phone or to show off this phone or to do this to get this phone for worldly things i was doing this completely for god's glory so he gave it to me and he has already provided for me for a a number of other things on this list and he he has given me this yeah this great opportunity for this short job to earn a lot of money and 
it's just really, really insane. It's 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 supernatural, and that is God. God is supernatural. So that is my testimony about this. So something else I wanted to quickly touch on again was when it says in James 1 verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, you shall, should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. So yeah, God has to approve of it and God knows your heart. So you, you cannot trick God with this. You cannot manipulate God because God knows all things. If it's truly not for his glory, then he's not going to give it to you. Like if I ask for a Lamborghini and I was like, oh God, I'll glorify you in this. No, <laughs> no, most likely that Lamborghini might make me prideful, might make me idolize the Lamborghini and God, that's not for God's glory. So he's not going to give me that. There's definitely ways I could glorify God with a Lamborghini, but God's not going to let me um, have this Lamborghini for my glory, for my, for my gain. He wants his gain. But the thing is, also, when we glorify God, why I'm preaching this, why I'm telling you guys, you guys need to pray this, need to do this, it's because 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31, it says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So he calls us to do everything for his glory. So if there's things that we, if we're living every day for him, doing stuff for him every day, and we might need some stuff to do things for him every day or to spread the gospel or even to get to work so you can talk about Jesus to people at your work if you need a car to yeah to get to work to talk about to talk to people about Jesus like ask God because if it's truly truly for that purpose for truly for God's God's kingdom for his righteousness for his glory he will give it to you but if it's not like it says in James 1 verse 5 without reproach, if he finds that in your heart that it's not for his glory, he's not going to give it to you. So you really need to do it for his glory, not your own. And I just want to, yeah, explain why you should be praying and doing this, why you should make, like, get a journal and write down all your needs for God's glory. And I think I already explained it, but you... As I said, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, as the Bible says, sorry. Like, we should do everything for the kingdom of God, for God's glory. So, the thing is, God calls us to do that also because that's what fulfills us. Doing stuff for God's glory is the greatest thing you ever do. It is so fulfilling. It is so powerful. It is so calming, so peaceful, yet so so hard. But it's still so, so good. Like, it, like... Let me explain it in a non-biblical way. If you were to work really, really hard in a day and you maybe earned, let's say, 50 bucks, let's say that, and you took yourself out for dinner after and you paid 50 bucks to have an amazing meal, you worked really hard for it and it was, and you had this meal and it was really, really good. And let's say another person, they have 50 bucks, they've worked nothing all day, they've done nothing all day, and they go and spend 50 bucks on this meal, they're not going to be, they haven't worked as hard for it. They haven't put in the hard yards for it. And it's not going to be as good because it really, it, it won't really do much for them because they didn't work hard for it. And I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my mind. So basically, yeah, you have to work hard and you have to do good things to actually be fulfilled because that's just how the world works. <laughs> um, yeah, where am I going with this? But um, yeah, back to the point. So you should be praying for this. You should be writing down in a journal to uh, glorify God. So I'll, I'll just go through what I wrote. And in one page, I wrote John 14, 13, 14. I wrote it out. And I wrote John 15, 7, verse 8. And I wrote it out. And I wrote Matthew six thirty three, And I wrote it out. And I wrote down my t interpretation also, which I felt God gave me. And it says, ask anything in my name, Jesus. So in Jesus name for the father's glory and it will be added to you. It will be given to you. And I wrote that on one page. And on the next page, I wrote, I present all my needs to you, God. And I wrote down a new phone with great camera plus audio, a video recorder, a laptop, two mics for podcasts, microphone stands, 
a tripod for camera, a more than reliable car, and yeah, a lot of other stuff I wrote down, maybe like five other stuff, and five other things, sorry, um, and I just presented all my needs to God, and he is providing for me, and something else I wrote, I said highlight when these things have been added, and so far I've got about three or four things highlighted, um, actually, that's a lie, I've only got two things highlighted, but there's two other things that have been added, but I haven't actually highlighted yet, and another thing I wrote down, this was truly my thoughts, I was like, okay, God, I don't know how you're going to do it, Lord, but I know that you will, I trust in you, and it was through that trust in God, trusting in his word, because God's word, if you haven't watched my other podcast, learning to hear God's voice, God's word is true, God God's word, the Bible is God's word. So you can believe in it. You can fully trust in it. So you also have to believe and pray into it because if you don't believe and pray into it, then it won't be added because you won't actually believe it will happen. It's like, okay, I'm going to, um, what's a good example? I'm going to go go to sleep and I'm going to believe that I have a great sleep and I'm going to yeah, I'm going to believe I have a great sleep. And then I do that in the morning. And then when it's time to go to bed, I'm like, oh, I'll probably have a crap sleep. I don't really think I'll have a good sleep. I won't have a good sleep because the power of a tongue, Proverbs 18 verse 21, it talks about the power of a tongue causes life and death. And if I'm not speaking life of night, if I'm not believing God's promises, if I'm not believing life, then he's not going to give it to me. It's not going to happen. Something other... Another word from God I got, like, relating to this, God is just giving me fresh revelation right now, and I thank you, God, so much. Um, At the start of this year, the very first journal I wrote, it was, he gave me this revelation of God's promises are true for the ones who believe they are true. So this is his promise to us, This these John scriptures and these Matthew scriptures, these are his promises. So if we don't believe they're true, they're not going to be true. So you have to believe in them. You really have to have faith and believe in them because if you don't believe and have faith, then nothing's going to happen. So, (laughs) yeah. So you really should be praying and writing down everything. I encourage you, do it because it will fulfill you. First of all, it will fulfill you and you will be provided for. And in... um. Yeah, and also I tell you to do this because in Mark 16 verse 15, at the end of it, it says, he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. So this is for God's glory. Like you um, can be provided with a better working phone. You can be provided with a car to drive around. You can be provided with uh, gospel tracks to pass to people. You can be provided with anything as long as for God's glory and for him so if you if you think there's something holding you back from preaching the gospel or doing what God has called you to do ask him to give it to you if it's whether it's wisdom whether it's understanding whether it's courage whether it's a phone whether it's physical stuff whether it's a car or something ask and believe that he will because his word says that he will and you have to believe in it because if you don't believe in it then it won't happen so get your believing i was about to say believing ears on but get your believing mind on like your mind needs to be switched on you have to believe in this so yeah number three why did i say number three i don't know but (laughs) so yeah you really should be looking for and praying about this stuff because it is so so important and it's legit a win-win situation like i get to glorify god i get fulfilled and i get a new phone or and i get wisdom or and i get a car and i get understanding it's like you don't lose you don't lose with god it's it's just a win-win situation it really is so yeah I t- i'm telling you you got to do it and in john 10 verse 10 um it says and why you should do it, it says Jesus has, actually not why you should do it, John 10 verse 10 says, I've come that they may have life and that they have it more abundantly. So God, Jesus wants us to have life and life more abundantly. So 
You should be praying about these things, praying about these things. And what is life abundantly? Life abundantly is pursuing God and glorifying God because that is what fulfills you. And if you are praying into these scriptures, you will gain life in abundance. Like if, even if it's like, if you don't have a house, if you don't have a bed and you want a comfy bed so you can wake up refreshed and renewed, ready to start a new day for God, then pray for a bed. Because if that is going to glorify God for your good sleep, it's going to glorify God through yeah, you being refreshed and being able to preach the gospel or spread the gospel or just do God's will, then pray for it. You might as well. Like, prayer is really so powerful when you actually do it for God's glory. Like, even if, it, even, it doesn't even have to be wisdom or understanding. You can be praying for healing of someone. Like, you can be praying for testimonies to happen. You can be praying, pray for someone and if you truly want it for God's for God's glory, like you can pray for someone, a stranger or even even someone you know. And if you know that this will be a seed sown, if you pray for someone and they get healed, that is amazing. That is for God's glory. That is for his kingdom. Because those people may start believing in God if they didn't believe in God, if they have just been healed in Jesus' name out of nowhere. So that is for God's glory also. So pray in in Jesus name for God's glory and if you're truly doing it for God's glory and not for your own glory then he will do it so and that is a hard one to take in because sometimes we do it for our own glory and we pray for people we try to use our spiritual gifts for our own glory but God tells us no you got to do it for my glory and it will happen so yeah that is a tough one but and for an, the other one, if God, if you're praying for someone and at church, if they, if they believe as well, you're praying for them and you want them, God to be glorified, you pray for them and you pray for them in Jesus name for God's glory to be healed and they get healed. That is a testimony. That is a testimony for the kingdom of heaven because people will be encouraged by that. People will be amazed at God's power. So it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So yeah, you do all things for the glory of God. Like that scripture, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 is so important. Many people just look at that, whether you eat or drink part, but you can eat and drink for God's glory. Obviously you should, but it says, whatever you do, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And you will have life abundantly, really. Like I'm saying that, not out of pride, not out of me boasting, but I've started doing everything for God's glory. And honestly, my life has been great. It hasn't been perfect. It hasn't been easy. I've messed up a million of million times. I've had to humble myself and ask for forgiveness and tell people I was wrong. But that was all for God's glory. And even those hard times, those trials, they really helped me grow into the person I am and grow into having life and life abundantly. And there is times I don't feel like I'm with God. Times I don't, times I feel like I'm abandoned, but just coming back to God and doing everything for his glory and sticking to that and not letting my feelings base how God is, that truly changes everything. And it is so good. And God has definitely given me life and life abundantly. And yeah, I'm gonna say one more time, it's not easy at all. But I'm truly fulfilled and I'm truly, truly have the joy of the Lord because I'm doing it for his glory. So, yeah, I encourage you to do it all for the glory of God. So I'm just going to briefly touch on how to do it again. I've already pretty much told you guys how to do it in all the other points I made. But how you seek first the kingdom and all will be added, that doesn't really make sense. But how you glorify God and get these things. Um, yeah, I'm going to explain that. So I've already said this, but if you have a journal, if you don't have a journal, go and buy one. Journals are very, very helpful. Um, just write down like the scriptures that I talked about, John 14, 13 to 14. And actually, before I list off the other ones, I'm going to say to you, now that you've heard this, 
you should be doing it. And I'm going to convict you to do it because it is for God's glory. And God gives generous, generously. It says God gives generous, who gives generously to all without finding fault. And it will be given to you. I'm telling you right now, you got to do this. Don't click off this podcast. You got to do this. Take some time. It doesn't have to be now. If you're driving or you're listening to this at work or anything, remember this and write it down because it truly is just a win-win. Like this is golden stuff that you need to know because it is good. It is good stuff and it is. there's no negatives about this. So I tell you, whenever you have the time, get on it. Get, get on it. <laughs> All right. So John 15 verse 7 to 8, write that one down also. And Matthew 6, 33. And really just be with God and ask him, okay, what does that mean to me? And he he might tell you or he might tell you, he might be telling you through me now. And what I think, what I believe it means, ask anything in my name, Jesus' name, for the Father's glory, not for your own glory. It will all be added to you. So write that down on a page. And just really write down everything, everything, like just write down, Lord, these are the things that I believe I need. I present all my needs to you, God. And since you now know that 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, actually, I just realized it's 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31. I think I've been saying that there are whole... <laughs> wrong the whole time but please forgive me um it could be either or i i really don't know go check it out um yeah as i said as god said in the bible 1 corinthians 10 verse 31 do everything for the glory of god so what you should be writing down now should be aligning with god's glory and yeah so you should be writing down if if it's a new phone, to work on something God has given you, then write it down. And really write down, don't just write new phone with good camera plus audio like I did. Write down new phone with great camera plus audio because God told me to do that because God is legit the creator of everything you see. Like he he will provide you and he wants us to have life and life abundantly. So don't settle for, for mediocre, like settle for top of a top. Like we, we are, Jesus set the greatest example and Jesus was perfect and we strive to be like Jesus, but we don't condemn ourselves for not being like Jesus. So we might as well strive for perfection. We might as well, try and do our best might as well pray for the best things like yeah so go and write that down and write down if you want like lord i don't know how you're going to do this but i trust in you and really just hold tight to that hold tight to god providing for you because his word is true if you need write down scriptures to remind you that God's word is true. It says, I don't know what scripture it is, but today on Friday, it is the scripture of the day. And it, I think it's in Timothy. It says all scripture is God breathed and is, yeah, is good for teaching for everything. So if all scripture is from God, if the scripture that we're reading, all the Bible scriptures is the word of God, then Write that down so you can be reminded that actually, no, wait, I'm not going to doubt this because Jesus said, God said, this is his word and this is his promises and God's promises are true for the ones who believe they're true. So yeah, just write down all your needs and you might not see them straight away happening. Like I didn't see them straight away happening, even though they happened within two weeks. There's still a lot of other needs that haven't been met yet. But the thing is like, Noah built an ark for like how many days? Like how many years? I don't even know how long it was, but he waited. He he didn't see the flood. He didn't see the fruit of 
God's provision. He didn't see it until the flood actually happened. And he had built a whole ark. He's, he would have wasted so much time if if it wasn't from God. If his ark wasn't from God. But he trusted that it was. Because he believed in God. And I don't know if that's a great example. But like you have to trust and wait and be patient. Because God's timing is his perfect timing. He may need to teach you a few things before you get these things so you don't idolize them, so you don't put them above him. So, yeah. And, like, the, the Israelites, they waited a long, long time for the promised land. Was it the Israelites? I think it was. Um, but, yeah, they waited a lot of time for the promised land. So be patient, continue praying, and pray continually. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17, it says pray continually. So, if God is saying that in the Bible, do it. Pray about this stuff like all the time and it will be added to you. And by praying, you will be, you will believe it more because the power of a tongue is life and death. So speak life and speak positive, speak good things. And yeah, just by praying, it will help you. So yeah, and write all your needs down. Be patient. And if you're truly doing it for God's glory, then it will be added to you. And it's that simple. So, yeah, I think I'm done here. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pray to end, guys. And, yeah, let's do it. Dear Lord, thank you, Lord, so much that it was your wisdom, Lord, speaking today because I, I truly believe that, Lord, because I am nothing without you. You speak through me, Lord. It, is, it was all you. Um, so I want, just want to give the glory to you, God. Um, Lord, I just pray, Lord, that this person who is listening can have a great day and can glorify you, God, in all they do, because that is your purpose. That is a win-win situation for us to glorify God and to gain wisdom, to gain understanding, to gain something for your glory, because it will fulfill us, Lord. So I just pray, Lord, that this person can, person who is listening can write down this stuff and really pray into it and gain stuff for your glory and gain yeah gain things for your glory and gain understanding gain whatever it is for your glory and not their own lord because you will not provide it lord if it is not for your glory lord so lord i just pray lord that you just guide this person who's listening help them to really continue coming into relationship with you growing their relationship with you and continue being guided by you lord and lord if if it is your will, Lord, that they write this down, I believe it is, Lord. Let them write it down, Lord. Put it on their heart to write it down so they can further your kingdom, Lord. And, yeah, and your righteousness and continue seeking you, Lord. Lord, I just pray over this podcast and, Lord, let let it reach the people who need it to be reached. <laughs> need to hear it, Lord. Uh, yeah, thank you, Jesus, so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys got something out of this. I, I will be praying that you guys get something out of this because I really believe God spoke through me today. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I really love you guys. I really care for you guys. If you guys want to contact me or even send a message to me and yeah, want to come closer to God and you don't know where to start, I am just a servant and I want to help you come closer to God. So yeah, message me and yeah, pray about everything. Yeah, if you want to support me, um at All the Glory for God on TikTok. My YouTube is Logan Magri and this podcast is called Following Jesus. It's available on Spotify, Anchor, and Apple Podcasts. So go check it out, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, have a great day.